Hello everybody, Christian from Treasure Town here, and today we're going to be searching through a half pound coin grab bag like normal, but we'll be looking for rare coins, historical ones, older ones, things that have uh, information, whether that be historical or modern, uh, that I don't know. So I always try to come away with one of these hunts with a new fact that I can apply to my everyday life. So let's pour these out, search these, and we'll have a quick word from our awesome sponsor and then head into the bag. Before we get into this grab bag, I want to thank MA Shops for sponsoring this video. Their online marketplace, mashops.com, has a great selection of ancient U.S. and world coins, paper money, stamps, and more. They've got a really good reputation, easy to use site, and they work with trusted dealers, so it would be a mistake to not head on over there and be aware of this awesome source for coins. Um, hopefully you can find something for your collection there, and with that being said, thanks to them again for sponsoring it, and let's get into the grab bag. And it seems like a pretty cool display of coins. I'll start over here with this Peruvian 1977 uncirculated coin. Um, it's five soles de oro, cinco soles de oro. And you can see that LMA is from Lima. Um, there are some uh, mint marks that I've seen, you know, on coins from the 1700s. It's still the same mint mark. Same thing with Mexico City, uh, Santiago. But I really like any coin that is, you know, uncirculated and a nice strike. It just looks really, really nice um, with the design there. Uh, after that, we're going to not travel too far to go to Ecuador. Um, and this is their recalibration of their system, 25 centavos um, of the year 2000. Um, we had previously been trading relatively close to even um, in the, you know, 1910s. By that point, it was a fixed rate of 25,000 to uh, Ecuadorian, I think it was boulevards to one uh, or pesos uh, to one US dollar. They redid it. So this is now worth one quarter. Um, and, you know, that has a lot of different ramifications for a potential economy. Here's a one yen coin from Japan, tiny little aluminum coin. Um, and then after that, we have, here's a little cool comparison, uh, 20 francs, 1952. This one is 20 centimes just 10 years later, but they had done a revaluation of the currency where the uh, 20 francs would be equal to 20 centimes. So these would have been the same, um, but just 10 years of difference try to combat the inflation or maybe just like show a little bit better, um, you know, in terms of not making it seem like things were that inflated. Here's a uh, French 5 francs from 1945. Um, so the République Française and a larger but aluminum coin as well. So um, didn't have the best sort of uh, monetary or fiscal responsibility there um, and you know would end up converting to euros with um, you know uh, 655 centimes being equal to one euro um, here we see uh, 2002 we see the Czech Republic 10 I want to say Hilaru I always forget that denomination um, don't know too much about it a little bit more French coinage right there similar type um, and then one penny from uh, United States kingdom and then one new dollar from taiwan so uh, a lot of sort of the classic and maybe i'll just take these all out while we're at it um, a lot of the classic like penny type coins oh i don't actually know is that like a modern maybe it's a drachma because i was going to say it kind of looks like the euro but like produced by greece but it looks like a one drachma coin 1988 that's well before um oh man that's no, not coming undone um, well before the euro would come into effect in about 1999 to 2002. Really interesting. I don't know who that is there on the front. I'll have to let you know. That'll be our first major historical fact and update. Then we have a Bahamian um, one cent with the starfish. Good to commemorate that. Another um, uh, penny from the UK. And it looks like another, uh, yeah, two more starfish pennies. So Big theme for today. This one's a little older, 1960, one centavo from the Philippines. Um, but it's got the crest. Really like how it's still, you know, red like a penny. And um, relatively still, you know, using a lot of English on their coinage, they would go more towards the, you know, Filipino uh, as they're, they were more and more decoupled from the states who had given up their possession shortly after uh, uh, World War II. Um, the Japanese had invaded, we'd gotten control back, but then uh, gave it up not too long after. Another one yen coin here, this one is a French coin. Here's sort of the solid monetary um, base of, of France that would have existed much earlier. Um, we see the sewer design similar to the Walking Liberty. Um, and there would be French silver coins, um, you know, 
I, I forget exactly if when they stopped the one and five franc. I think it was like 1959. I'll tell you. But here we have a 1907 one franc. Really, really pretty coin. I think one of these in mint state would just be gorgeous. Maybe I should try to go get one. Um, I really like those world coins. And, you know, we see the nice leaf, liberty, liberty, equality, and fraternity or brotherhood. Um, such a cool coin and fun to have some silver in this hunt. We haven't gotten locked out of silver in a while. Um, and that's definitely a good thing behind it. Another penny. Um, but then I'll try to go for something. This one had, you know, caught my eye. Didn't really recognize what it was. And I don't know if I, you know, I'm going to get too much help here. Um, that looks like maybe it'll be an Ottoman Empire low value coin. And I'll do my best to fill in. But if you have any better ideas than what I do, um, yeah, please let me know. Uh, though I don't think the value is going to be so too high just because of how how you know bad of a state that that coin is in. After that, another one new um, peso from Uruguay, 1980. And there, that SO, that almost looks like Santiago. Um, so I'll have to confirm whether, you know, where this coin is being minted. Uh, really interesting um, to see that and, you know, what the currency situation. Often the N is like if they're doing a revaluation, they say, oh, now it's the Nuevo Peso, Nuevo Sol. Um, so that also could have a, you know, be a factor. I'll, I'll update all of that. Um, then we also have a Dominican Republic 1991, uh, 25 centavos coin. Um, again, we see one of these, you know, <laughs> that is a huge, um, you know, carton and a ton of wheat relative to the presumed size of the animals carrying it. So I always think that that's funny to point out. Um, we've got a half penny coin. This one has caught my eye the whole time. Um, and it doesn't look, you know, it's just so worn. I'm like, how did it get this warm? It says uh, O S P O M E N Ospemena Natrusat. I don't know if this is something rare uh, and that it really got worn down over time or if it was created like this, but you know, these these are really unsearched lots. Anything can come in there. We've been getting a lot of tokens in the past. Um, I don't know what that is. And that, that I could foresee myself struggling to find much um, when I do my after the video research 1998 10 um, I think Juan from from uh, Korea and then 1996 nice thicker solid Czech Republic 10 Karuna coin um, with this reminds me of like some of the 1794 like uh, early half pennies from Britain um, two pence in the background there um, and then this large 1860 10 centimes with a barth this almost looks like Luxembourg. Yeah, Luxembourg right there. Um, Grand Duche de Luxembourg. Um, though I, I wonder, I'm going to have to tell you if people in Luxembourg, what language they speak and maybe what language they have spoken. If it's changed, maybe they've gotten you know more towards English these days, more towards French, or if they have their own language. I'll really have to... That'll be something cool. You know, that's what I love about these is I get to go do the research in, you know, that I promised to do because I can't have an in incomplete video. 1899, uh, I think this is going to be two Heller from uh, Austria, or Habsburg, Austria. Um, we have a 25 cents coin, 1981 from Bermuda, um, which has, I, I forget what exchange rate. And here's a good example of that um, changing over. 1993 is the date the uh or, or six or three um that the central bank of the philippines uh was created they always commemorate that 2004 is the actual year that this one peso coin was issued for jose real but we see you know ng of Pilipinas, like the you know the the native pronunciation or spelling um, and then we have a panamanian here's another dollar linked currency decimo same size as a dime 1973 so, um, fun, fun coin worth 10 cents. I don't know, you know, would I buy, I don't think I would buy coins at this rate, you know, that I pay a fair amount for this stuff. Anyways, um, here's a Thai bot, but I wonder like what per pound you would have to pay to buy dimes. I mean, I'll update that if I can somehow do the math here. One bot coin, um, from Thailand. So, you know, that's another classic world coin hunt, um, constituent 2008. 10 colones um, from Costa Rica. We got a Moroccan coin, uh, 1987, I think it's 20 dirhams. Uh, so that one is not, that's not a design I've seen before. And again, I always get excited to see anything that I, I haven't, you know, 
been involved with another 25 cent dollar is really getting all the dollar equivalent where we're raking it in in that um, perspective and then 50 ah man i always it looks like 1392 um 50 of i don't think it's phil's i i think it's uh i think that this is saudi maybe like a half real but uh, i'll have the full update for you um, and then we'll have a singaporean coin 2011 10 cents so that's not bad either. Also continuing with the palm trees, this one from, I think that's 1401 um, or, or 19, 1971. Um, and we got the 50 of something again. Um, maybe it's a, it's a newer coin or I'll, I'll have the details on that too. I always feel bad. I, I uh, you know, really struggle when it comes to non-U.S. alphabets. Here's, though, interesting. Five centavos carnes, 1976. That's like, I think that's like meat centavos or something. Brazil. Uh, and that is another country that went through a lot of monetary reform. I'll have all the information for you. Alimentos para o mundo. Uh, then we got a, a 10 centavos from Mexico, 2001. Really small coin. And some other small coins here, Trinidad and Tobago, 1999. I often see smaller denominations, so the 25 cents is pretty cool. Uh, then we have an Austrian coin here, 5 Groschen, 1991. Um, larger silver coin, that is really cool. 62.5% silver, but still enough silver where that's a, a good amount of money from West Germany. 1951 again. I think G is the Karlsruhe Mint, and uh, you could still exchange this for about... Uh, the, the rate is 1.95 marks for one euro. So you could get like two and a half or two euros, 60 euro cents um, worth. Now that's not worth it because silver is high in demand, but maybe this is a good silver stacking coin uh, if you think that silver is going to go really, really low in price. Um, here is a Chinese coin. These are sometimes super valuable. Um, and I don't really know what I'm looking at. You know what I'm looking at to be completely honest if you do know please let me know it looks like there's some you know lettering that's been washed away but some of this can can get expensive quickly so I may have to hold on to this one and just wait to see if you have any updates or you know any any knowledge of what it could be um, and I'll, I'll try to do the research on it but um, then we see another French sewer coin, 1977, one franc, so 70 years goes by, and this is what the coins transform to, more 10, 10 centimes there. We got a Hong Kong coin, 1974, 10 cents, as well as a similar looking, but very different 10 centimos, and I don't recognize that design, I really like the um, different patterns that we see on that coin, really cool, 2015, so this one was being used recently, uh, as was this, 2001. Um, same design, but a little bit earlier. So hadn't seen that design before, but they clustered together. Um, then we have, that could be Icelandic, 1978, uh, one krona. So before it was Orar, so maybe this uh, sort of shows us a quick inflation or like quick, you know, run up in, in yeah, the denomination that people are using. Um, and then two Grozy from Poland, 2018. So that gives us a clue that this batch of coins, you know, definitely has been pretty recent. Um, we also see a nice condition, Etat Francais. So this is the Vichy-controlled French state, 1941, 10 centimes, puppet government that the Third Reich Nazi Germans had put in. Uh, we also see Travail, Famille, Patrie. That's their slogan as opposed to the Liberté, Égalité, Fraternité that we saw before. Um, so two coins from that era, uh, much, much uh, different, you know, sort of a, a quick time in, in French history, but... Significant nonetheless, 1980 Zimbabwe. I, I don't, I think that this would be one cent. I will tell you. Um, and I'll also document when we see that runaway inflation start to take hold within Zimbabwe, because that's always so famous that hundred, um, you know, hundred trillion dollar note that I do have one of. Um, 1906, five centimes from Belgium. Cool way to keep things going here uh, with a Michaud. Um, and then we all looks like a big I'm gonna save that big silver coin for last another Bahamas one cent though They update it to have the smaller starfish and a few more a Singaporean cent um, So a lot of smaller coins this one and you know, these are half pound. I try to measure them pretty carefully, but 
Um, you know, it feels like we've gotten more coins than that. 1965 Hong Kong, again, 10 cents, another one yen. This one's our first Dutch coin, 1950, 10 cents, with Juliana the Queen on it. And then we also get one from Moldova. We don't see too much from Moldova. One ban, 1996. And I'll have to research if ban is their basic unit or if it's some sort of, because I thought it was the LEU maybe, like the LU. Um, you know, what the overall situation is there. I got a friend named Ban, so I might try to give this coin to him. Um, <laughs> that's cool. And then, uh, 1946, Ecuador, 10 centavos. Um, so that one, you know, also maybe a reminder of like, this was worth a lot more than the 10 centavos would have been before they switched it over. And then you see those quarters at 25 cents. You know, it might appear like there could be a good continuity in the currency, but that was not the case. Um, and, and that's been the theme today. And then our last coin here, King George the Sixth. Interesting toning on this one, but it's, you know, I'm, I think that this one looks like VFX at, maybe it's better. Looks nice on here, and wow, it's a Canadian coin. So I was thinking maybe 50% silver, um, but this looks nice. And you got the George Kruger Gray, beautiful, beautiful coin on the back there. And maybe this is like an AU coin. Actually, yeah, it probably is. Um, and this, th But this side just sort of has worn interestingly or, or been sitting around interestingly. 1943, I don't know if this has extra premium, but the toning and the eye appeal on this coin I think is magnificent. So... Um, a really, really great way to end today's hunt. Um, super cool. I'll have to learn more. You know, I always try to do that value updated below. This one, big coin to try to get the info on, as was the p likely Ottoman, potential Ottoman coin. Luxembourg, over 150 years old, 10 centimes. So some really, really interesting finds here. I'm excited to have been able to search this, and I'll look forward to being back in a few weeks with the next one. Thanks for watching the video. I'd encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated. I've also got Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, so you can follow me there. Um, TreasureTownYT.com is the main channel website. Definitely give that a visit. I've got a lot of information about me up there and the channel. Uh, CoinGrabBag.com as well currently redirects there, but it's some good opportunities for very fair grab bags, both made by me and other sellers. A lot of different options, so that's a good way to support. Um, there's also TreasureTownCoins.com. In the future, my coin dealing uh, operation will be done out of that website. Uh, CoinMeltPrice.com for updates on the melt prices of your coins, both U.S. and world. World, a lot of resources in that website and then coinsmetalscards.com being developed right now as a marketplace and news source for coins metals cards and collectibles in general so i'll see you on my future videos looking forward to seeing you there and hope you have a good day